Okay, folks, basically what I've got here is some information I dug out of NASA, okay? And basically it's about brown dwarfs, and pretty much you are seeing a geometric series sampling of a constant up in space that basically is the supergiants, okay? And the sun, and then we get that down to Earth, okay? So I'm going to take you and give you this. I got Pegasus B here. <clears throat> I'll tell you about that because basically this stuff's starting to leak onto the internet. Astronomers and stuff are starting to throw this stuff out there that it's so big since they're starting to talk about uh and then I'm able to start digging and get the stuff off the internet. I remember there's way more than one Pegasus Pegasi I or what do you want to say? B is is uh half the size of Jupiter, just a little bit under the half the size of the Jupiter mass, okay? So, and then there's other stuff that's hella huge out there, okay? So there's a constellation. This stuff's all real. It's all out there, okay? Part of the super giants. And I believe that I've got... Now, folks, remember, this is damn good information for you because, yeah, this is what I put in, what's NASA, and then this is what I end up getting. But this is exactly it, okay? This is what this is, okay? And it's a little bit bigger. It's another super giant, 1.2 mass. And I've maybe even drawn through this before, but... And all right there where the sun's at right now. So all this stuff is... The, one, the number one thing is, is, even though there might be a lot of distance away and so forth from each other and so forth and so on, is the electrical energy and also the... Uh, that's the supergiants there. And then it's there where the sun is pretty much close by. And distance from Earth, yeah, it's a lot of light years away. But we can visual, you can see it. And it's in the main sequence, like I've been telling, to the naked eye, dark skies, okay? And then at 6200K, it's hotter than the sun, and it's a little bit bigger than the sun, okay? So it's close by, too. So there's a lot of stuff there. So we're getting ping to bong to bing, like ping pong, okay? Or Atari, pong, okay? Of all that sun rays and axes, and you see what's going on in that volcano over in Japan, okay? And also all of earthquake action and so forth and so on. So, so we got all this. We got GL22. 9b, uh, we got 70 ver, and I think it's Virgo or something like that, uh, 51 peg, 55 cncb, this stuff's all out there, ladies and gentlemen, and then I've got another map to show you, and then here's a good histogram, and some talking of the main sequence stars, folks, right, straight from NASA, okay, appearing to give you a little bit of everything, so, There's plenty of stuff coming around, ladies and gentlemen. So somewhat, this is what we got going on on our corner turn in space. We hope that it's where we go. Okay, Earth is right there, little red diamond. Okay, and you got Earth right there. You'll see it. Now Uranus is at our back door, and this is straight from NASA, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, 51 pegs there. 55 CNCB, 16 uh, CYGB, uh, it's basic 16 Cygnus B, I think is how it's pronounced, and 17, uh, 70 ver, ver, and we got Jupiter and Saturn, and these things are huge, ladies and gentlemen, okay, and we got all those other little pink buggers are BD mass candidates, ladies and gentlemen, this stuff is all out there. We are in an area through the solar systems and the galaxies right now on this turn following the sun around the supergiant's main sequence, ladies and gentlemen, that we finally get a look with modern day technology to be able to look at this stuff, okay? Otherwise, it's just old astronomer action of, okay, we've seen this on this how many thousands or whoever knows when many years ago, okay? So we're getting glimpses of this stuff as we come around our turn. Because we all know that we're going through the turn. You can go to NASA's, all the projections, the idea, the way that the Earth will go. We are in a corner turn. And then hope, uh, otherwise, we would get, we would fall away from the sun. You see what I'm saying? So we will follow the sun. We always do. Okay? And so this stuff's all out there. Huge, massive. All this is the brown dwarf stars and everything like that that they're all talking about. There's way more than one. There's way more than two. This stuff is huge. 
So I got this straight from NASA, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, it's no fake bake. This stuff's all out there. Okay? I just don't want to disclose too much without permission. So as you see, we get this here. Tells you about it. Okay? It's all official. Like this B, and there's way more than one. And basically, it's just almost seems to be like a moon of it. And there you go in the night sky, currently here, United States. And then, so what? Fifty-one Pegasi is in the same place as the super giants in the sun is right now, high, low, or whatever. And it's just a little bit smaller than the sun and main sequence and as you see it's got a heat of 5600k just about as hot as the sun or hotter okay it's that star there so this stuff's all around there and we, that's pretty much where the sun's at right now too okay so this stuff's all out there so you got two or three suns right there right and all this stuff is what i've been showing you from up at And the differentiation out there drives you nuts because then we get where the idea that this is NASA talking to the, the actual institute, Astrophysical Journal, and they end up saying that it's uh, point, 0 0.84 the size mass of Jupiter. Okay, so you get a lot of differentiation here because I'll take and cut and give you the information on that again. And the only thing you get there is the light years close and then the heat 6200k and this is that object because there it is and then, then that's what it is and this shows it's 1.2 mass so actually I, I trust this German astrology better than I do actual NASA PS in this so and it's in where the sun's at and then at 88 light years exoplanet that basically means a planet and it's just under the size of Jupiter and it's a known satellite, so known planet of that, so they knew I was going to bop into this stuff sooner or later, so they start squeezing stuff out, like you seen in the video earlier today. So it's a known planet of that sun, okay, 6200K. So a planet bigger, than, almost as big as Jupiter at this sun here, which is not that doggone far out, because it's very close to the sun, one way or the other, either north south of it because or east west of it because it's in the same general area in the super trans main sequence as the sun yes massive distances but we'll get the light 6200 and something k 6200 degrees a little hotter and a little bit bigger than in the sun and i found a photo of it i'll show you it from off a telescope and this is it and this is damn big and it's it's bigger than the mass 0.2 bigger than the sun and here it is. If you're fast enough to get that, then you can find it. But that's the picture of it. There's the three terahydrons right there. And I think I can move down and give you what I broke into here. And there's a plot of it. So there's our horseshoe flopper that we end up seeing a lot of times, I think. Or at least one of them. Because there's a digital shot of it from farther away. So there's a lot more, more, as you see those yellows or other ones in the plot. And then so, so that's that object. Way the hell out, but hella bright.
And this is what's concerning them because there is no way to bias star selection toward extreme face on orbits for unseen companions. There are too few orbiting brown dwarf stars and stars from which to draw the face on orbit. So that's why some of them they get the stuff back and then they don't really know So, 45 times the mass of Jupiter. So there's a ton of them out there. So. Ten Browns are known. So here's another one. But we also know that we found that one at 747 times the size of the sun. So let's go take a look at this and I'll also compute this. And then there's this farther down, so so they're sitting here telling you straight out that it's bigger than what other people say, ten times greater. That one's not spinning rapidly. Once again, we run into two names. I'll check that one out too. All heavy in the sky currently. And continuously too, it seems like all this stuff. So, it's all there. And, duh, you know. 360 degrees in a, in a fishbowl. Exoplanet to that star, which is spectral class 8, is just a little bit bigger than actually almost two thirds or three quarters of the size of Jupiter, the mass of Jupiter. So that's huge, and it's just another planet. So and it's up there. So, massive stuff out there. There's some info with it and the sun. And basically, it's got a size of it. Visible to the eye and naked dark skies. The sun's to the right. So, it's hotter than the sun, bigger. And there it is. So that's one of them that's up there by the sun right now, like I've told you in the past. And there it is, physical size comparison of it to the sun. And it's up there. So, all real stuff, folks. So, let's see if I can get a distance from there to the sun. much matching distance from the sun also to matching it from the earth so that's our second sun high low or what is what we don't know so plus those other ones that we've already given you so there's a lot of suns out there that's not how long it takes that light to get there most interesting are these planets here so we'll get into those in the future because Earth's right there, folks, so, and those stars are all up here. Or next week.